Hey all, and here's a level I made called Chain Chomp's Checkered Castle. This is quite an interesting level. It uses the fire and ice theme. It also only uses the 12 items you can see at the top of the screen. So the idea behind this level, you need to get three pink coins, then defeat or avoid a giant Chain Chomp stack. Red pipes generally have dangerous items that come out of them like springs or chain chomps or occasionally buzzy beetles. There we go, there's the springs. So at this point you have three different pipes you can choose from. Each one of the pipes leads to a different section of the level where you have to complete some sort of challenge to get a coin at the end. So like for example you have to run and avoid the icicles that drop down. Here you have to avoid the icicles and get across on the claws. You have to go back as well. The pipe at the end of each section is a decoy. So here we have chain chomps that drop down and platforms. So once you have done that, you will be able to go in the pipe here. You got a very small glimpse of the end boss then. So this section is just a relatively long platforming section. Long as in it takes around 30 seconds or so to get through. Nothing too long. And then the blue pipe actually leads to the end boss. The idea behind the end boss, stay in the middle when you can, get the buzzy beetles and throw them at the stacks of chain chomps. Once you have taken out enough chain chomps, you will be able to jump on top of the posts and then get to the doors. So you need to take out most of a stack Ideally, take out the top chain chomp. Then you have to be a bit careful of the buzzy beetles that drop down. Like so, avoid them and then choose your door to finish the level. So that's the actual level. Let's play the stage from the start. I will now talk through each section. So to start it's just basic platforming, avoid everything, just be careful. Nothing too difficult at the start, if you try and rush though you may get hit by the chain chomps at this part. So take your time with the level, get a feel for the level. You have 500 seconds plus 2 checkpoints so you don't need to rush unless you're trying to speedrun the level. Obviously, I will show you speedrun strategies near the end of this video. Now, for this part, the intended method is to jump across on the buzzy beetles. You can also jump across using the blocks if you're really careful like that, then really quickly across to the next part. This part, you have springs instead of chain chomps. Again, they come down quite fast as they're coming out of red pipes, so do be careful. Then here we have claws and winged chain chomps. Again, the timing is quite tight, so you do need to be careful. Now, which pipe to go for first? That's entirely up to you. I recommend doing the green pipe first, as in my opinion, this is the hardest one. So you have double platforms, as you need to go back as well. The route there is pretty easy, however getting back is a bit harder as you only have one platform. It's all about timing. Use that little twirly jump in midair when you can. It makes it a bit easier. So now I'm going to go for the yellow pipe. Now it's easier to do this section if you're not holding down the run button. Whichever button you use for run. 
and then just jump across carefully. This should actually be really easy if you do it correctly. Now the best thing to do here is wait until the claws stop swinging. It takes a bit of time. And then get onto the first one. Again, don't run, just do it gently like this. And you should have no problems with that section. Now for the final coin, that's in the blue pipe. So the easiest way to do this part is don't try and rush it too fast. So you do need to slow down and jump like this. That's by far the easiest way of doing this section. If you try and rush it, you're generally going to hit one of the springs. And then it's all going to go horribly wrong. So there we go. So now we get to experience the red pipe up here. This is the only safe red pipe in the level. Safe as in no enemies come out of it. So this section you can't really die, it's just a filler. It's also a section for those who want to speed run the level, this may slow you down a bit. That's the only purpose of this. You have that weird effect as well when you get halfway and when you come out of the pipe as well. So as you can't die in this section, I put the checkpoint right before the end boss. So stay in the middle to start with, wait for the chain chomps to attack, then grab the buzzy beetle. Try and throw it as high as possible. And then with a bit of luck, you will actually do it using just the one buzzy beetle and then you can go straight in the door and beat the level like so. So there we go. The doors do look a tiny bit weird like that. However, I do not want the player going back in the boss room once they've made it to the end. And now that I've shown you the level, let's try and upload the stage. All right, and here we go with attempting to upload the stage. Avoid red pipes and defeat or escape from the King of Chain Chomps. Well, here we go then. I have to beat this stage three times since there's two checkpoints. I'm not sure how difficult this will actually be. Hopefully not too difficult. I was able to complete the entire stage in testing without any problems. However, this is the real thing now. I'm sure I can do this. As long as I don't try and rush it too much. Like I just did there, I should not have too many problems. However, I do want to get a semi-decent clear check time, so I'm going to rush it a little bit. Right, there we go. Carefully back. Nicely done. Okay, in that pipe. Get in the pipe. Get in that pipe. This section. Right, here we go. Now, the claws are still swinging, which doesn't exactly make it easy. However... I made it back. I made it back to safety of the yellow pipe. And now we're going to do the blue pipe. Here we go. A little bit too close to that spring, but I'm not dead, so that's good. There are no power-ups in the level, so you do have to be careful. You can't make any mistakes. Alright, let's go in that red pipe and defeat the end boss with a bit of luck. Right, there we go, that's halfway. Mm. 
Right, we're there at the checkpoint, and now to defeat the giant chain chomp boss. Right. Get that buzzy beetle and throw it as high as possible. That was perfect. Look, it managed to kill the entire stack. I don't believe that. There we go. So I managed to get this level down in under two minutes, which was pretty good going, I think. I just need to beat it twice more. Yeah, with practice, the end boss is actually really easy. As long as you throw the shell as high as possible, you will take out most of one side and then you can just finish the level. For those who have not watched this video, they may find it a little bit harder. If you throw the buzzy beetle shells low, then it won't take out many of them. Then you're going to have problems and end up with a much longer boss battle. Yeah, okay. That didn't happen. The mistake I made there is I didn't actually jump far enough. So I'm going to get this one done first this time around. It is definitely easier if you wait for all the claws to stop. There we go. Right, so let's go back to the third pipe. It's a shame I can't do a checkpoint loop at this point. So you can get one coin and then save. However, there's simply not enough checkpoints in the level for me to be able to do that. Unfortunately. It would be nice though if you could add a third checkpoint or maybe even a fourth checkpoint to a stage. Right, here we go. Icicles. All right. So now in the door and into the red pipe. The nice easy section now. It's sort of like a build up before the end boss. That's what the purpose of this section is really. You can't die here. It's not that difficult either, with a bit of practice. And here we go, let's get that end boss defeated. Oh, that was an absolute disaster. Well, it hit the other buzzy beetle, so... Now I'm gonna wait. That wasn't a bad effort. I think I'm going to take out the bottom ones as well. There we go. And now I can beat the stage. Let's take the other door this time. There is no way of actually reaching the stack of buzzy beetles. However, it does come back to you like this. It just does that infinitely. Doesn't serve any purpose, but pretty cool. Random ending. Well, until you hit the axe, then defeat them all. Okay, so just one more time to get this stage uploaded. This time it's from the checkpoint just before the boss. So hopefully this time I won't mess it up. Let's try the other side. It feels a little bit odd doing this side. However, there we go. Nice and easy. That's the end boss completed in just over 12 seconds so that gives you an idea of how fast you can actually beat that boss so now to actually upload the stage
All right, so there's the title. Let's do that. Avoid red pipes and defeat or escape from the king of chain chomps. Right, so what should I give this? Now, I think this has a boss battle in it, and I'm tempted to give it art, actually, due to the checkered effect in the level, but I think I'm going to give it themed instead. There we go, themed and boss battle. Perfect. All right, let's upload this stage. Hopefully, players won't find this too difficult. 3QV... S6TX8G. So there we go, that's the stage uploaded. Now it's time to do a speed run of the stage. Okay, and that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this stage. It is relatively difficult, but nothing super impossible. I feel that most players who want to complete the stage will beat it eventually if they stick with it. The hardest part is probably getting the three coins, since you have to do all three coins with only the one checkpoint. If you did enjoy this video, leaving a like and subscribing is always appreciated. Thank you to those that have already subscribed to the channel. There are a few other videos on the screen you may enjoy. Feel free to check those out if you want to do so. And thanks for watching.